Hello everyone and welcome back to the Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping that subscribe button, making sure to select all after you have tapped that notification bell. Okay, so in today's video, um, I would like to share with you all um, how to um, decorate with warm but yet very vibrant colors and it's going to have a little bit of whimsy fun added in a lot of French country and I also will be putting together a very simple but yet fun um, lemon topiary tree it only takes a couple items and anyone can make this tree and use different variations, you know, use different types of greenery or um, you'll see. I don't want it. I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> so I will be doing three vignettes today. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? So we're going to start things off right here on top of this little black chest that I purchased from the at-home store. And we're going to make a vignette on top and also a wall vignette as well. It's going to warm this area right on up. So I actually started my first placement up there on the wall. And look, this tired fella, he's back. He, so we're going to be working with him today. And he's so tired. He's He's taking a nap. We'll just we'll just say that. He's taking a, a sweet little nap. He's had a very long day. And this is a vintage flow plate that was a Facebook Marketplace find. Now, I figured since he's so tired and he's taking that nap, I sort of wanted to make things a little bit... Um, more cozy for him. So I'm going to add this wreath that I put together. Um, I'm going to place it around him. We have different ivies and berries and greenery in, inside of a grapevine wreath with a green sash. The green sash was purchased from Hobby Lobby. And see, doesn't he look just that much more comfortable? I just wanted to place him inside a little bed of of ivy and berries just so 
he, he he'll have a better nap. <laughs> and here is another flow plate. Now all of these are um, gaming birds. I have a total of five plates that I will be placing up on the wall. So I'm just going to pretty much add them all around the wreath. Here's another. They're all just so, um, so lovely. And to think that these flow plates actually came about through a mistake. I'm so glad they made that mistake. Now, many of you ask what I use to hang my pictures, and here is one thing. Um, I also use the ooks as well, but today I will be using this picture hanging kit. And as you can see, it has quite a bit of goodies inside. And this, I believe it was purchased through uh, at home, home Depot, I believe. If not Home Depot, Lowe's. Placed another one at the bottom. Now there is spacing in between these plates for a reason. Here's another. All of these are just so darling. I love the vibrant, rich, but warm colors in these plates. Now, I'm doing this for a reason, for you OCDers out there. I don't want to hear my plates are crooked. They're not crooked. <laughs> they are perfect. Anyhow, I just thought I would share that with you all. But as you see, there is some spacing around the plates, and that is because I will be adding more, but I want to do a different shape, um, like um, like a rectang like a rectangular type shape in between. And I have an idea of what I might be going with. I'm just not quite sure yet, so I don't want to mention. But just know I will be adding in other items. And the blue just goes so well with all the yellow. Now for the next vignette, right here on top of this little chest, I have, it's by Mackenzie Childs, and it is, um, they call it, oh, it's something server. Um, my husband actually purchased this along with the tall tower stand that I have, and I believe it was through Shop HQ. Now, I realize Mackenzie, uh, Mackenzie Childs is very costly and that's why we do the payment plan. Never um, feel like you could never achieve a piece because you can go to Shop HQ. Now, as you can see, the one at the bottom is twisting a little bit and that is because the stand goes in a different direction so I just sort of changed things because I need it to go this direction and you won't be able to tell by the time I place on these serving bowls. This is the Black Flower Market, my most favorite out of all. And again all these um, I'm sharing right now are the deep serving bowls. This is the courtly check. And then the last one is the green flower market. I love this one too. It has a really nice English country feel to it. And I love the English and the French country together. So I placed all three of the bowls inside the server. And again, the server goes the other direction. I just, I had to make it go this way. 
and this is a new treasure. I have been wanting this forever, and this is their uh, copper mesh dome. I don't remember what they call it, but anyhow, I love the little charm, the Mackenzie Child's charm with the courtly check on top. Love the copper. This is their small one. I would like to get another and also the larger one, but we'll see when that's going to happen. And I placed it on top of the top serving bowl. So now we have a little bit of copper going with the warm blues, little bit of fruit with that perfect pair up front with the leaf. And I have a story to share about that in just a bit. I went ahead and placed I, this lamp. Um, it has been in my kitchen for some time. This was a Facebook marketplace find. I love the old world. Um, has like a, yes, an old world feel to it. But okay, so this pair up front, I thought, oh, how perfect. It will, it will make a perfect picture. My son comes in when I wasn't in the room and he grabs that pair and he eats it. My gosh, my Raymond, leave it up to my Raymond. He ate my perfect pair for the video. Anyhow, now the center bowl, I was wanting to place some apples in it. And I was like, oh, shoot. I don't have any apples, but guess what? I found them. So you will see apples inside that bowl in just a bit. And I decided to add just one more thing on top of this table. And that is these uh, potted lavender. The, this, um, where was this piece? Maryfield Garden. But I know this comes from Napa decor and they do sell them on Amazon. Now we're gonna move over onto the table. Now today I will not be putting together a tablescape because I just don't, um, I just don't have everything yet that I would like to be able to use for a tablescape and I hope I, I can come across it soon so I can make a, a tablescape for you all for this summer. But I painted this table um, many years ago. So let's go ahead and get started with these lemon placemats. Now these were purchased um, at a florist shop when I was living in North Carolina. Uh, I don't have a name on here. I believe there used to be. So in my earlier videos, there might be a name. But they're very sturdy, beautiful in color. And I will be using them um, as my placemats today. Actually, for the summer. And as you can see, anything that you put on top of a Harlequin is just going to stand out. Harlequins, um, they're such a, a, a great um, addition. And I can't even think of the correct word um, when decorating. I'm going to add on uh, this lush green wreath that was purchased from Home Goods. Oh, see, there's just a little bit of my poison ivy. The left arm wasn't bad at all. It was my right arm. I'm sorry, I probably should have been wearing a long sleeve shirt, so. So I placed that right in the center. And again, that green works so well with the vibrant yellow color. Now here is the other Mackenzie Childs piece that my husband purchased for me. This is their tall stand. 
I love the bottoms, the little feet down at the bottom with the courtly check. And I just tucked it inside the wreath because this is um, such a, a, a lush wreath and it was wide. It could accommodate this stand very, very well. It's nice and sturdy. The wreath couldn't fit around the bottom of the stand, so I just said, ah! I'll put the stand on top of the wreath. Why not? On the stand, I will be placing the courtly check. These are the charger plates. That gold trim going around all of the bowls and the plates are just pretty much, that, that's just everything. It just really makes their enamel pieces. And as you can see, the courtly check and the harlequins, they go very well with one another. Now this little piece right here, I'll show you the bottom, but I actually painted this, um, I believe it was last summer. So it was all white. And it came from Hobby Lobby. I did look for more this year. I didn't see any. But I just pulled out some of my acrylic paints. And I was very inspired by Mackenzie Childs. And decided to um, paint my own floral pot. And I just placed the sweet little pot right on top. And that pretty much is all that I will be doing um, on the top of this table for today, anyhow. But I'm sure we'll, we'll try to revisit for a nice summer tablescape. Now we're going to move on over here. Um, onto the black console with the very large um, mirror, Facebook Marketplace find. The story behind this mirror is um, I had been wanting it for many, many, well, for quite a long time. And when I saw it on Facebook Marketplace, I said, um, no, that can't be right. And it was, I paid a little over $200 for this piece. And the console down below, that was a Facebook or Craigslist, I don't remember, uh, Marketplace Find, as, long, as well as the copper uh, boiler down at the bottom. And the lamps came from Horchow. That's H-O-R-C-H-O-W, Horchow.com. They have beautiful lamps, and I always wait for everything to come on sale at Hor Chow because the ticket price can really get up there. The silver tray, it has been on top of the console, but for those that are new, I just wanted to share um, where I purchased this from. It was uh, at Pottery Barn. And there was a nice red slash that went through it. I like when I see those red lines going through a, a, a ticket price because that, that means I'm going to be a little bit happy. Love those 50% off sales. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun on top of this tray. We're going to start off with this um, find. I actually found this in North Carolina. I thrifted this piece. Um, it actually was on, it was Facebook Marketplace, and it turned out, it's Bombay. It's a vintage piece. Turned out that it was a very large um, building with uh, 
just many different uh, vintage and, and antique items all throughout. Just placing it right in center of the tray. I like that silver with the blue. I love silver and gold together. Next up is, I don't know the actual name for this. I'm just going to call it a, a metal tree stand. Um, this was a Facebook Marketplace find. And we are going to have a fun DIY right now. So it's just, you know, a simple little golden, um, again, tree stand that has some little curly whirlies on it. Um, and I have five different, I think five, four or five different um, greenery picks here. I believe these were purchased from Michaels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one down and the stem going up. And then I'm just going to weave these branches all around these different um, arms. The goal is to hide that large stem. So I thought by placing one upside down, this just might work. And again, I'm just going to weave it around all of these different branches. These different arms, I'm sorry. You can use any greenery for this. Okay, so again, I placed it down with the stem up. And now we're going to grab another, pull apart your branches the best you can, and I'm going to add one in on the left. And again, the goal is to make the topiary form and hide those big stems down at the bottom. And just stand back, take a look at it, and just fill in, you know, the bare spots. You can see there's one on the right. You can use more than five if you want to. Now, I do have some of these tree stands um, at my Amazon storefront. Not exactly, not this one exactly, but there are some. I just have to add a little more on the left-hand side. And again, you can use any greenery for this. So you want to hide the stems. Okay, so here we have our base form, all of our greenery. And now we're going to add on some lemons. These lemons were purchased from Kirkland's a couple years back. I'm not even sure if they still sell these. I haven't been to a Kirkland's in a while, but I'm just going to place them on top of the golden arms, like so, for a sweet little topiary tree. Now down at the bottom, I did add in some gray moss because I wanted to uh, make it look more earthy. Um, sort of like, you know, the ground, the soil, and added in uh, some of this, uh, it's like a moss sheet, and just break up pieces and scatter it about. Okay, so I placed a couple leaves down at the bottom with a lemon. And here we have it. This is just a very um, simple, sweet lemon topiary tree. And next, I have a couple lemon candle holders. These were 
oh goodness, these were purchased many years ago from Home Goods when I was living in California. And I absolutely love them. Now we're, we're going to add just a little bit more. I think you're going to like this these next pieces. We have Betsy and Ivan. Betsy and Ivan are vintage wooden ducks. Facebook Marketplace finds. These two came from a church. But I found them through Facebook. And they just, they decided that they just wanted to come have fun in the lemon orchard. Now I'm going to place these uh, candles. They're uh, nice blue. They're from Root. And the blue matches perfectly with the yellow in the lemons. I place them inside the candle holders. And as you can see, I'm pulling the blue from the pot. I love pulling colors out from other decor pieces. And we have a couple more friends that want to come play in the lemon orchard. And these are Mackenzie Child's a Frog Napkin Rings. I actually purchased these on clearance some time back. And so I turned on the lamps because you can never have too much lighting in a room. <laughs> 